I'm not sure I'm supposed to be having this much fun. But, hey, I'm a member over on Lumberjocks, and if you guys you know, haven't checked that site out, it's a great woodworking forum, lots of great guys. Anyway, one of the, my buddies, uh, Dave, over there, wants to make uh, a board game. It's called Settlers of Catan, but he wants to do it out of wood, and he wants to make some octagon cards for that game. And that's kind of a cool project. You know, making geometric shapes can be a little bit confusing, so I thought I would show you guys how you, a real simple way to make a perfect octagon. It's going to be fun. four inch by four inch squares cut out I need to relieve the edge of each side of this to make my perfect octagon now I know that from this corner I got to measure back one and three sixteenths of an inch and that'll give me a perfect octagon with a four inch square you know if you want something a different size and you're not quite sure about the math uh, there's a website called pagetutorials.com and I'll put a link below that has all kinds of generators uh, for many different geometric shapes and uh, it's a real handy tool to use. So I'll simply put my square in my miter sled, mark the 1 and 3 16 back from the edge, and then line that up perfectly with my saw, and then I just hot glued a uh, stop in here. So now all I have to do is make that cut, rotate it 90 degrees, make the other cut, and just keep going, and that'll give me my perfect octagonal shape. Well, that was fun, you know, and um, pretty simple little project. With a little bit of creative thinking, it wouldn't be that hard to take that same kind of setup, tilt the blade on a 45 degree angle, and make your own eight-sided dice, or uh, a lot more than eight-sided dice. I'm not sure what you call that. What would you call that? Thanks for watching, guys.